So this is the Conway Select Board meeting, Monday, October 25th, via Zoom. Um, the first item on the agenda, approve the minutes of October 12th and October 19th. Anybody have any corrections or comments Seems about fun. those minutes? Seem good. I agree. It look good to me. All right. So we do a single motion to approve both sets of minutes from October 12th and October 19th. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Unanimous. Aye. Unanimous as to both. Next item, the warrants. Um, so we have an accounts payable warrant of 269, 385, and 35 cents. A payroll warrant of $107,776.72. And the de payroll deductions of $27,564.33. Anybody have a chance? Anybody have any questions about those? Nope, seems fine. Okay. Um, a motion to approve those three warrants. I move. Second. Uh, uh, oh, okay. oh well, I, don't know. I, don't I thought that was it. Whatever. I'm trying to help Louise out. <laughs> Trying. I'm trying. <laughs> I move to approve the warrants. Okay. I believe Bob seconded. I'll second it. Sure. All right. All, right. All in favor. Aye. 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 It's unanimous. Meetings attended by select board members. Uh, Erica? I have not been to any since our last meeting. Yeah. Bob? We've had conservation commission meetings. Uh, we're we have we've been visiting up at the next amp site again they're reworking their driveway and joe was there for some of those uh and you know in a way it seems unfortunate for poor next amp that they're stuck rebuilding you know the newman's driveway but it's part of the project and they they've made it a lot wider than the driveway used to be and and uh it, it has to you know it you can't pollute these surrounding. I mean, it's like if you get a workman that comes to your house to to redo a hot water system in your house, and the guy notices that the way you've plumbed your gas line is no good or something. You know, yeah. everything has to meet code, and uh, even though it's not part of the project that you hired somebody to come in and do. So, and uh, yeah, and I, I I always wonder about that because remember we saw that right when that project was not licensed, but approved um, in full, they sold the entire 20 year output of that. Remember we saw that, that they had sold on the market, the entire lifetime electric output already. So, they, so they've so they already been paid. So so getting more out of them after the fact is, is pretty, just, that's good, that's good. Uh, and they're very agreeable. I mean, you know, they have a good reputation and they want to, maintain their reputation. So uh, next yeah. week's been great to work with. Uh, Eversource is slowly continuing to replace uh, the high tension towers that that are uh, that cross the Shelburne Falls Road, for example, just down the road from my house, but they go all the way from, from Ashfield and then they go up and over by, behind the Sportsman's Club and they come down by Bill Cosby's house. And that whole string of High tension towers are being replaced. Uh, there's there's two separate towers along that whole stretch there. They're doing one right now, and and so on. and if if people complain to the board that they think somebody's doing, you know, pipeline work again, it's not pipeline work. It's it's Eversource replacing towers, uh, but but somebody's going to notice that and be fearful that it's a pipeline coming back or something, but. Um, so well, wait a couple of years, they'll, they'll probably be right. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? But 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 so we just had a we just had a meeting this afternoon with uh, Eversource uh, uh, for some of those towers. So there's lots of conservation commission work, in addition to the usual mm -hmm. stuff. That's it for me. Yeah. All right. So I I was in a couple of meetings. The most notable was the uh, quarterly meeting of the Franklin. County Regional Council of Government Council. Um, the 
And, you know, the progress is I got them to do a, a preview of the budget in now instead of always waiting till September and then expecting to see the budget for the first time and approve it at the same time, um, which is amazingly OK with everybody except me. But um, but the so and, and they announced they announced um, that they hired a consultant and are spending significant money to do a competitive marketplace survey um, of, of all of their staffing. And with the idea being that they're going to raise everybody's salary to what the competitive marketplace says it should be. And I did, I'm not fond of that idea as a concept and I'm not fond of it as a concept applied to our county government, which isn't really a county government, but it's FERCOG. Um, but, um, and, and, you know, I, 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 I had a long back and forth with Bill Perlman and the executive director about it. And, you know, that got them to admit really that, that you know, th those things, when you get those studies, just like when we get our municipal salary survey, there's so many data points on them. They support any argument you want to make. You can argue that you're underpaid and need a raise and you be using different points of data that are also there. You can, you can argue that you're overpaid and should give money back. The same person, the same job, every single one. And, and if, if you look at it from that perspective, that's exactly what's going to happen. And I feel like there's been a decision already made that everybody at FERCOG is going to be getting an above mark, whatever, a raise above the two, three percent that they're going to be getting anyway every year. So I, I, I wasn't pleased and I extended that discussion for a long while. Um, yeah, and, and they're also adding a, an assistant to the, an, an assistant executive director position, which is going to be a six figure position. And I. I'm not pleased about that either. So, so I mean, uh, other than that, they're doing a lot of good work. It's just the budget stuff, and 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 the, the, the you know, it's it's the other, it's the old saw. You know, you gotta you gotta watch the central office expenses. That we gotta keep these services semi affordable, and when the overhead that goes with it just keeps going up, um, you know, and their response to that is that this year they're flush. They got all the ARPA money. They got all this stuff they can do. And they're going to give it to the employees too. And I responded that just lower the town's assessment, but that didn't go anywhere either. So I don't know. Um, but, uh, and, and there was, um, we also had a meeting with the, um, the police chief and the, uh, I'm sorry, the fire chief and the highway boss about the reclassification of the town's policy towards overtime of employees and basically we want to sort of stiffen up the policy that says no overtime ever um, unless it's you know I mean the road the road crew in the snowstorm kind of a scenario but um, but basically we're trying to eliminate that and so through a cooperative effort we are reclassifying things in the fire department to make it possible to accomplish this goal without hurting anybody and without um, uh, yeah, in increasing the town's expenses. So we shall see it somewhat. Some say it's a tall order, but I think it can be done. Um, you have the final, uh, you know, the, what the position is, the description of, the, of how you're gonna do this in writing? Well, since, since, since you know, the, 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 the uh, no, but that's that 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 is that that's is what they're what working our, on. Yeah, yeah, yes, the town administrator is working on it, and I would love to hear a verbal explanation from her about how well it's going. But okay. um, that, but that would be cruel and mean um, to ask her for that in these cold, ridden circumstances. Um, but the uh, that, but basically the uh, uh, besides the written policy that says that more clearly for all employees. There's just going to be a specific reclassification of fire department positions um, with the idea of making it all a stipend instead of an hourly wage for some and not others. And so it's so, yeah, but, you know, in, in, in a way through classifying some of the job descriptions differently, we can it can be done without hurting any existing without taking food off of anybody's table. Let's host. Um, so, 
So, um, but, 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 but in a fair way that won't create any resentment going forward. So that's the goal. But, and that was a pretty good, successful meeting too. So that's it for me in the meetings. Great. Um, good job. <laughs> public comments. Well, Joe's on the agenda, two spots down. Old business, no new business. Okay, Joe, now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm next. I'm next. 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 Um, Joe, Joe Stragowski to discuss future plans for wastewater treatment. Right. Do you know the previous plans? Do I need to go over the history? Or does anybody ha have any questions on the history? Well, first, but... the previous plans are always a noble effort, but we do seem to be so snake bitten that we can't get the, 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 the agreement of the powers that be. And I just saw in the mass, uh, the, the legislative alert that came out by email at four o'clock, they're putting another few hundred million dollars into the wastewater thing yeah. statewide. Well, maybe, and, you know, there, there's been a lot of conversation about that. And uh, some of our legislators had a meeting over in Waitley, which I think there were probably like 100 people there. It, it's gotten the attention of the legislators, which is probably a good thing. Back in the 70s, when the, with the Clean Water Act, there was a lot of money for infrastructure. That's when all the towns built their sewage treatment. Yeah, yeah. Conway decided, right. right or wrong, to go with the uh, leach field individual leach field and, uh, you know, septic system. And that's what we've been living with ever since. You know? um, this journey started around, for me at least, around 2013, when we tried to change the zoning in the downtown to be more economic development friendly, to allow, you know, like mixed use where you could have a store downstairs and an apartment upstairs. I don't know that we actually prohibited it, but we wanted to make sure people understood you could do it. So the plan was to create a village center district and change the zoning to allow for small lots and economic development. And that whole thing got pretty much shot down at the public hearing when people said, you know, this is all BS because we don't have a sewer system and it's never going to happen. <laughs> so we formed a committee to start looking at the sewer system. Here we are after two feasibility studies and probably three attempts to find money. Um, we started in the beginning with uh, USDA and, and all these other groups, RCAP, and um, most of them had loans they could give us, but grants were few and far between. And some of them were tied to um, poverty levels, you know, or average mean household income. So we never did qualify for any of that. And uh, the first time we tried to proceed with this, it was a million dollars. Uh, that was with the um, Mass Works grant, I think in 2018. And then I tried again this past year in 2020 with the One Stop grant for a million dollars plus you guys earmarked uh, 500,000 of the ARP money, ARPA money. Now, just to be clear to anybody, that doesn't mean we spent that money. We didn't spend no. any money. I asked so. you to reserve it in case yes. we got the million dollars yes. from the state. Yes. Because yes. we were looking for roughly a million and a half. Um, and that got turned down, as Marit Marit has probably explained to you. Uh, I suspect it's, again, because most of that money is tied to economic development. And if we had a, if we had a developer who wanted to come to town and said, I'll oh, come if you put in the sewer system, we might get the grant, but we don't have anybody lined up to do that. And, and we're trying to rebuild the downtown, I believe. And it's going to be organic growth, if you will, small little stores. I don't think we're talking about uh, destroying the village center and replacing it with a new one. We're just talking about infill, if you want to use that word. You know, there used to be a, a store in the, in the Hawks block, you know, the big white building on the corner. Um, well, there is again now. Yeah. There, there, there is was again a, now. What? There's an antique shop that's okay. I didn't, okay, maybe that's more recent. Yeah. Um, and there, there was a butcher shop there for a while, and I didn't know about the antique shop, but um, and various people have tried to open restaurants in town. Fella tried uh, was my neighbor. He ended up moving to California, but so it, it's been a struggle. We haven't. How do you sell Conway to people who have just been to Yankee Candle or passing through Conway, or if they're going the other way and they're going to Yankee Candle, you know? So, um, Joe, I mean, like, if you feel like if we had a municipal sewer system, 
it would be a much more attractive place for businesses to invest in Conway. Right. But okay. I have to prove we have the economic development before we can get the grant. So it's a sort of a catch-22. You know? So if someone has a better idea about how to get money, you know, we're more than interested. But So I guess the my point is we're now part of this new study, and I'm guessing that'll be a two- to four-year project before we get back in line to figure out what to do and start looking for money again. So it seems like we should probably dissolve the wastewater committee of which there are currently only two other members other than myself, uh, Carl Nelke and Michelle Novak, who uh, I think she's still working up in Ashfield. She's one of the workers uh, that gets up at two in the morning to fix their sewer system. And she said, I'll be damned if you put one of like Ashfield's in Conway. So that was her yeah. reason for getting on the committee. Um, so, so my this, recommendation this, is to is to dissolve the committee, and if you want, appoint me to some kind of a position where I can deal with the uh, FERCOG project for the next one or two years. You know? What do you suggest? What what kind of position? What's the title? Yeah, what, you call me appropriate to the sewer rat title? number sewer rat number one or something. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> or so, you, we you have an official. To talk to the people. Do we have an official wastewater committee right now? Well, we did. On, we on did paper. until 30 seconds ago. On, on I, paper, I we do. Um, okay, up, all right. So. Up until a year ago, we had four people. Um, I believe that M Marie Eichen contacted Veronique, and she's apparently battling cancer, so she wanted to get off the committee. So it's down to the three of us. We haven't met for probably two or three years now at this point, officially. I think the committee still exists. No, what? I don't want to go on the Economic Development Committee. <laughs> <laughs> I suggested to Veronique that, that I would stay on and deal with the wastewater if she found somebody else to deal with economic development. <laughs> but I mean, if that's the place to put me so I can do it, I guess that's okay, but. Well, I guess my question is, do you need us to make an official like recommendation or a motion to dissolve a committee to, I mean, what, like, what, what are we, oh, what I, are think, we, what I think officially we right now tonight, I think officially we need to dissolve the committee. Okay. The Wastewater okay. feasibility committee. That's my recommendation. Okay. And then if you want to deal with me somehow to, so I can work with the cause. Can we just make you the waste wastewater advisor to the select board? <laughs> That's fine. I don't care what it is. All right. Happy to deal with you. I mean, we just, <laughs> <laughs> I do hate that, the idea I, I, of getting rid of this committee, though. Uh, 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 maybe we should do it, but uh, well, it does. It does seem a sad way for the sewer rats to meet their demise. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, it hasn't become unimportant. Well, right. I, I guess right, we, but it seems like it's changed. So, um, I, I'm guessing you know since then, Carl has left the the board of health. He was on. At, sort of as a Board of Health rep or representing the Board of Health, but he's left the Board of Health. I don't know if he actually wants to stay. I haven't talked to him. Um, like I said, we haven't had a meeting for at least two years, maybe longer. Um, you can leave it if you want, but you know, we're, we're not, we don't have any met, scheduled yes. meetings at this point. But it, I mean, if, I, I haven't been submitting any town reports, obviously. Yeah. Does, I just wondered, um, cause I know Veronique's not here tonight, but, um, I don't, do we know what Veronique, what her opinions are? Yeah, she sent us a little bubble uh, uh, message that she suggested Joe go on the Economic Development Committee. But we can always create our own little thing too. So special I mean, spe special wastewater advisor to the select board and that way he doesn't have to be on a committee that he doesn't want. My feeling is the economic development people are gonna end up where we are, which is, they can't go very far without a sewer system. Exactly. Right. Unless they pick some other place in town to do economic development. If you want to start over and make a new town center, then it probably works. You know? But right. you've got 116 for the traffic. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know. I, um, I'm not sure how far economic development people are going to get. You know? right. And I'm not, I'm not prepared to spend another four or five years looking for economic development, so I guess. We, we earmarked 500, 
We but earmarked that, a bunch of money for you. Right? That Well, that's another topic for discussion. And what if that money suddenly appeared? Well, Veronique has put me on that committee, uh, the ARPA committee. Um, and I guess I'm there with um, Phil and um, Lamastro, is it? And um, Nelson Sterling, uh, not Sterling, Nelson. Shiflet, Shiflet. Nelson Shiflet. Yeah. So this is probably not, I mean, this is just like a very extra committee that is not necessary. If we have like a lot of other committees in town, it seems like who eventually are gonna to have to tackle the same issue. And at that point we could establish a committee to deal with wastewater, right? You could, you know, I told Veronique that I would speak to the economic development people and, you know, give them the history of the sewer system. Um, but I think it, it'll be intimately tied to, to the future of the economic development in town. I mean, that's sort of what started it yeah. in the beginning, you know. Yep. Oh. It's, a sad, it's a sad place to be, but I don't know what else to do. Yeah. Well, I don't know if it's sad. It's just, it's the evolution of, you know, yeah, right. <laughs> it's an evolution. I mean, you're still on committees, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, it's sad for me because I had hoped to accomplish it by now. <laughs> well, I did not expect maybe that. you're taking it to a different committee. <laughs> you know, the, but in, in a sense, though, in a sense, though, the, the, the clock is ticking a little bit, just from the point of view that those of us that live in the qualified area that could have partaken of these services that have the original septics that with the house from 70, 71, 72, um, that... Uh, the, the, these are now reaching the end of their lifespans. In many cases, they've already reached it. And every year there's one or two more. Um, and those of us that are still going strong, that had it cleaned out and got a good report, hope that it can hang on for another few years till the Calvary comes to the rescue. But because I'd rather I'd rather join this thing than pay for a new one. And each time you each time you somebody pays for a new one, that's another decade or so before they'll join this one. Exactly. So, yeah. So, yeah. They're getting more and more expensive too. You know, you're, yep. you're, you're looking at 40 or 50 grand to replace yeah. them with, with a pump up system, I think, you know, but so I, I guess, so I guess my recommendation is to dissolve the kid meeting for now. Uh, we're not meeting anyway. And you know, do something with me, what your pleasure is. <laughs> and uh, maybe it'll come back again when the economic development people get done. Maybe they'll come to the same conclusion. I think we we have a good plan. There may be others that that we're not aware of. Uh, the plan was completed in twenty late twenty seventeen, actually almost early twenty eighteen before we received it. So the plan itself is only like you know, five years old, something like that, four years old. So it's it's still relatively new technology. Um, and I see more and more people doing it. Uh, I've seen it done in, I do subscribe to their some of their websites and they're doing things outside the US, they're doing some in Australia and other places. So I, I think it's a viable solution for a small town. And I don't, I don't know where this study will end up, whether they'll come back to the same place or not. You know? You know, one suggestion early on was to run a pipe down to Deerfield, but Deerfield hasn't even come across 91 yet. Um, and I'm assuming part of that's it doesn't make economic sense for them to, uh, to go under 91 and try to capture the few people they have on the other side. Yeah. Us adding another 40 or 50 people probably doesn't help their cause. And we, we were led to believe the pipe might cost seven or eight thousand dollars to to get down to <laughs> South Deerfield. And then we'd have to help them go under 91. So that didn't sound like a good way to go. And, and certainly a full size treatment plant, you know, what are they spending down in Deerfield? 20 something million dollars to upgrade their plant. That works when DA is your biggest customer, but <laughs> when, when DA went offline or, or closed their campus this past year, and all of that, all of those costs went to those hand, two dozen households that belong to it or whatever. Yeah. Their, their, their rates quadrupled in a month. 
I can believe and, it. Um, now it's back down to normal, but and that's you know that's what Waitley's facing too. Waitley, their their small system um, has very limited users, and it's at the end of its twenty five something years, and it needs all this work. And the solution of rate payers paying for it just can't work. There's not enough rate payers. So yeah. the latest I heard was that rates are getting up around a thousand dollars now a year. For sewer and water in most towns. Yeah. yeah. And that's sort of what I've been using as a target for ours. But even at that, they're telling us our operating cost is going to be around 60 grand. If you divide that by 50 houses, that's, you know, we're going to start out at the top of the rate just for this million and a half yeah. dollar system. And that's assuming we get a million and a half dollars to build it. The 70 is maintenance and, and, uh, operation of the plant and yep. the community um, leaching system. It, it was an easier decision for the people back in the early 70s because then the federal government was paying 100% of everything. Exactly. And the Clean Water Act was new and it was a Republican piece of legislature and it was widely supported. And I keep hearing that Biden, Biden's infrastructure bill is getting cut back smaller and smaller. There probably be very little sewer money left when they get done. Well, I know when we bought our house, we looked in Ashfield, we looked in Deerfield, and, the, and with like the fact that we had like a private well and no sewer in Conway was like really attractive to us. Now I have to probably have to replace my leach field, or my septic system at some point, but yeah, I don't know. That was, I mean, that was a, a decision for us years ago, 25, 24, 25 years ago. I, I'm not sure what they're paying in Asheville. Do you know what they were paying in Asheville at the time? I, well, I feel like like the annual sewer costs were like $3,000 a year. Yeah, really? Which, but yeah, I mean, that was like in 1999. And they, have a mor and they have a moratorium on, on new hookups to the sewer really? system. Really? Yeah, they ha they've had that for years. Um, is they're, at, they're at capacity. Well, our, our plan was that the state requires you to consider a house as, to be a minimum of three bedrooms, even if it isn't. And you would need 110 gallons per day of, of wastewater. So um, every house automatically gets 330 gallons per day. And then if you have a fifth or a sixth bedroom, you add on to that. So the plan was we were going to try to stay under 10,000 gallons per day, which is the biggest system that your board of health can operate. It's not, a, it's really a community leaching field is what it is. And it's run by your local board of health. Right. So the only cost is whatever you want to impose on the board of health to, to manage it. <laughs> um, and then after two years of operation, you can go back to DP with the data. And if the data shows you're not using the 10,000 gallons per day, you can then add people to it. So we, the thinking was in a couple of years when somebody wants to move into town, hopefully we would have some capacity that we could free up. Because some yeah. of the big houses like Mrs. Greenwood's house next door to your office, she would be on the books for 330 gallons a day, but she was one woman using one bedroom. You know? Now they sold the house, so maybe it will go back to 330 a day. <laughs> so there would, have, there would have been a lot of slack capacity uh, when we started and we were hoping in two years we could say, oh yeah, we can bring in another dozen houses or something like that and get up to around 50 or 60 houses or some economic uh, development, you know, some storefronts or something. But with no money, we're stuck. <laughs> There's no so way I, I can envision the town's people wanting to pay for the downtown sewer system for the capital cost, right. maybe a small portion of it. And we probably need them to help with the operational costs. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's your downtown. You need to put some money into it, uh, a nickel or a quarter on your tax rate or something like that. Well, which is why it seems like it makes sense that this be part of the decision of the Economic Development Committee, because it's more, it's not so much a, I don't know, it doesn't need to be its own like sewer committee. It needs right. to be like the impacts are so far reaching. It needs to be more. Um, they may have to go to town meeting, convince the people we should continue, right. and and 
justify putting some of it on the people. Right. So what do we need to vote on tonight? Like, is, is, is we are going to dissolve the we're going to dissolve the wastewater sewer committee, wastewater okay. treatment committee. Um, I guess it was called wastewater feasibility committee. That yeah. was waste, wastewater feasibility. There you go. Which, and we are going. I will. I will make that motion, but I don't. But I. I just want to like appreciate all of the work that the wastewater <laughs> feasibility committee yeah. has done in support yeah. of of this. So I don't want that to be a reflection on, you know, like I, I, I will make the motion because I, I feel like that's what Joe is asking us to do. So I'll okay. second that motion. Considering the source. <laughs> yep. <laughs> all right. So I'll, I seconded it. So all I'll in favor. I. Sorry, right. Joe. So, Aye. <laughs> and then and then to keep to keep the issue sort of alive as well, we're going to appoint Joe as the Joe Strugowski as the uh, special advisor to the select board and the town administrator on wastewater treatment issues. OK, that sounds good. A I long title, but it sounds good. <laughs> and, and, and then and that doesn't have to have an expiration date. And, and then um, when it's ready to resuscitate the sewer rats. Joe has the front row seat and can uh, we can make that happen when there's okay. reason to. Sounds good. I support All right. that. All right. <laughs> thank you, Joe. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Joe, as All always, right. for everything. <laughs> yep. Take care. Have a good evening. Thanks. All right. Good night. Good night. Uh, so, the next item on the agenda is appointing George Forcier to the planning board as its fifth member. Do we have an expiration date for that appointment? Anybody? Uh, that's, I mean, it's, it's usually like a two or three year term, I think. Yeah. Um, I don't know. My apologies. I didn't get that letter sent in to you. I think, <coughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Oh, I, God. I think to, Take a moment. <laughs> to fill in uh, to the end of 2022, oh, let me double check that and Phil, stop laughing. <laughs> Sorry. I just had the agenda. Oh, there it is. Okay. Well, whether it's two years or three years or however many years I appoint, I, I totally Or one that. year. <laughs> yeah. However many years. Anyone willing one. to serve on any town committee, I am. I, I, I found it. Sorry. It does say um, the planning board nominated George Forcier to be the fifth member of the planning board through remainder of this year until town elections. Okay. So moved. Second. All in Aye. favor? Aye. It's unanimous. Thank you, George. Thank you, George. Thank, Thank you, Veronique. Yes. That was, that was <laughs> quite impressive. Um, items not anticipated 48 hours in advance of the meeting. Anybody? I got nothing. Town administrator update. I, am, uh, I, I can announce that the town administrator has been uh, uh, excused from an update um, given her current um, uh, uh, we heard the cough. cold. Yes, yeah, she, yeah. she has the cold. She has a cold. Common cold, but she's got it good. Get your flu shot. Uh, uh, select, board it. <laughs> <laughs> select board member comments, concerns. Anybody? No. Yep, I'm all set. Mail. Uh, what came in that I had to sign? I don't know if I forget. Announcements. Next meeting is two weeks from today, which would make it November 8th. Monday, November 8th yep. at 6 p.m. is our next select board meeting. And I don't see any holidays around there, so that's good. <laughs> and until, yeah. Okay. So that being uh, that being the case, meeting Move stands adjourn. adjourned. Sounds Second. good. Second, yay! Unanimous. Aye. Aye. All right. Good, All right. Good, good night, night, everyone. Good night, everybody. Thank you.